Okay. So we have Carnotaurus confronts Allosaurus. This video over here, from what I've seen, it's completely AI generated. And the Allosaurus in the thumbnail is actually a T Rex for some reason. Anyways, enjoy. Which species would win between Carnotaurus and Allosaurus? Allosaurus. It's more robustly built, and its bite force is slightly stronger than that of the Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus has speed on its side. But, in this case scenario, speed doesn't really matter. On a vast expanse of land, lush green scenery, with verdant foliage, to giant behemoths emerge from the deep- Yeah, no, this is probably the most AI-generated video that I've ever seen, even more than Brightside. Um, they used Jurassic World Dominion clips, but at the same time, they're showing this, which is just complete and utter garbage AI. Woods to determine who will dominate this area. Carnotaurus, with its sleek appearance and sharp conical eyes, strides forth with strength and confidence. Meanwhile, Allosaurus, with its massive size and razor sharp teeth, exudes solemnity and readiness for battle. The scene is captivating and tense as to colossal dinosaurs. In reality though, the audience would probably be disappointed as they probably wouldn't even fight in the first place. Carnotaurus and Allosaurus collide in a fight for survival in the prehistoric world. Another AI generated scene, man. AI is just really bad at creating these fights accurate ones. Let's delve into the strength and physique of these two species. Size, Allosaurus is one of the largest and fiercest theropod dinosaurs of the Jurassic period. The size of Allosaurus- At this point, should I complain about those AI-generated stuff? Because these are just incredibly horrible all the time. To their credit, they probably don't have the budget that Brightside has, but oh my god, this thing has- crazy amount of upper teeth. Typically ranges from 8 to 12 meters in length and weighs around 2 to 4. Probably isn't that big or that long. Allosaurus fragilis had a mass of 1.7 tons. Allosaurus shimatsunai had a mass of around 1.4 to 2 tons. Allosaurus in general had an average length of around 8 to 9 meters. Tons, however, there are larger individuals that can reach up to 14 meters in length and weigh up to 5 tons. Its muscular power and speed of movement are sufficient for hunting prey and winning battles against other dinosaur species. Okay, so it doesn't win all the time, especially when it comes to having to face Stegosaurus. As for Carnotaurus, Carnotaurus is a relatively small theropod dinosaur compared to many others in the same group. The average length of Carnotaurus ranges from 7 to 9 meters. More close to that of 7.5 to 8 meters. With a shoulder height of about 3 meters, the weight of Carnotaurus typically ranges from 1.5 to 2. Tons. Based on different ways of measuring, the Carnotaurus could be ranging from 1.3 to 2. 1 tons metric despite not possessing impressive size like some other dinosaur species carnotaurus has considerable strength and speed of movement carnotaurus has a distinctive short and deep skull shape with a row of sharp teeth so if we're comparing based on size allosaurus has a larger size so i'll give one point to allosaurus score one to zero allosaurus has a bulky body but in terms of jaw strength and bite force, it's relatively weak. Still stronger than the Carnotaurus, albeit very slightly. Only about 318 kilograms per square meter compared to other dinosaur species. Okay, so the script itself seems also AI generated and this person actually used text to speech, which is kind of expected for a low subscriber channel. As for Carnotaurus, despite having a smaller body compared to Allosaurus, it has sturdy jaws with a bite force of up to 340 kilograms per square meter. 
So in terms of bite force, Carnotaurus emerges victorious. The current score is 1 to 1. The speed of Carnotaurus is estimated to be quite impressive. For a theropod dinosaur, Carnotaurus can reach speeds of around 48 to 56 kilometers per hour, approximately 30 to 35 miles per hour. This is a result of its powerful muscles in the hind legs. In a battle like this, does speed really matter that much? Along with its sleek and agile body structure, Carnotaurus is believed to have developed rapid hunting tactics. Utilizing its speed to approach and efficiently attack prey with this speed, Carnotaurus could have become one of the fastest running dinosaurs of the Cretaceous period, enhancing its chances of hunting success. Carnotaurus lived right at the end of the Cretaceous. I guess this is perhaps karma to the Jurassic Fight Club Allosaurus that constantly bullied the Ceratosaurus as the Allosaurus's lineage died out before the end of the Cretaceous. And survival in the fiercely competitive environment. As for Allosaurus, Allosaurus may have achieved running speeds estimated from about 30 to 50 kilometers per hour. Approximately 19 to 31 miles per hour, Allosaurus has a robust body and muscles, especially in its hind legs, allowing it to move swiftly in its habitat and while hunting. Allosaurus is a relatively agile hunter. It had to maneuver around and hunt and kill Stegosaurus. Capable of moving fast enough to hunt prey and cope with the harsh living conditions. During the Jurassic period, so the score now stands at 2 to 1. Leaning towards Cornitaurus for the lead, let's now examine the intelligence and horns of these two species. Horns, neither of them were proven to actually be used for weapons. First, regarding Carnotaurus, it possesses a long and relatively sturdy horn, sharp and iron hard, capable of impaling. Okay, so that is going to be a free usage for the text in my thumbnail. And inflicting damage on its opponents or prey it faces. However, in terms of intelligence, this species isn't particularly clever, it's not as intelligent as Allosaurus. As for Allosaurus, it also has horns. But they are small and not long, lacking sharpness. Would the horns even matter at all if you just use your jaws to hunt? However, the intelligence of this species is notable, ranking 7th in the list of the most intelligent animals. So, while one side has long, sharp horns, Allosaurus possesses intelligence. In this challenging situation, a bright smile is enough. What is a bright side is enough supposed to mean in this comparison? Because both have their own strengths, I'll give each one a point. So the score now stands at 3 to 2, making it tough for Team Allosaurus. Hunting strategy. The strategy of fast attack helps Carnotaurus efficiently eliminate prey. Especially when the prey doesn't detect danger from a distance, Carnotaurus has powerful forelimbs that can be used to grip prey. Normally, I don't joke about these puny arms, but I don't think the Carnotaurus would just grip prey like that. While attacking or to hold onto it firmly during the hunting process, with its strong jaws and razor-sharp teeth, Carnotaurus can bite and tear prey effectively. The structure of its teeth allows it to penetrate, deep into the flesh of the prey, causing severe damage. Carnotaurus may have employed synchronized tactics. If there's a one-on-one -on -one fight, then that wouldn't matter at all. With its conspecifics when hunting, cooperation in attacking prey could enhance success rates and help Carnotaurus cope with large or difficult prey. Carnotaurus is a flexible and efficient hunter, utilizing speed, bodily strength, but now you're talking about Carnotaurus when you're just showing the Allosaurus. Is there any thought put into this video? And intelligent tactics to attack and hunt prey in the harsh environment of the Cretaceous period. Stealthy attacks, Allosaurus can utilize its powerful muscles. And this video is just really boring in general with all of this AI and text-to-speech stuff and also all of these mistakes. 
and imposing appearance to carry out surprise attacks on prey. Its large and robust forelimbs may be used to grip or hold onto prey. But the Allosaurus still mostly uses its jaws for hunting. During the attack, this structure can also aid in digging to unearth prey from the ground or in. Challenging hunting situations. Allosaurus has a row of sharp teeth that can be used to bite. You're just stating the obvious. And tear prey effectively. Okay, that's a little more like it. It can leverage the surrounding environment to hide and execute surprise attacks. They may use forests or hilly terrain to conceal themselves and ambush prey from unexpected positions. Both species demonstrate quite proficient hunting skills. So I'll award each one point. The score now stands at 4-2-3. Habitat. Carnotaurus lived during the Cretaceous period, approximately 72 to 69 million years ago, in what is now South America. Okay, so you aren't 100% wrong. It lived around 71 to 69 million years ago, so that's probably a mistype. But why is living space... Not, not living space. Living area a factor for which dinosaur is stronger. It makes absolutely no sense. Primarily in the region of Argentina, Carnotaurus is believed to have inhabited environments, such as flooded plains, forests, and open grasslands, where it could utilize its fast hunting tactics. Carnotaurus may have employed synchronized tactics. Now, normally I do not want to complain about this, but this is just way too crazy of an ai generated picture for me not to complain just look at how many of these dinosaurs are there oh my god with its conspecifics when hunting cooperation in attacking prey could enhance success rates and help chronotaurus cope with large or difficult prey as for allosaurus allosaurus lived during the jurassic period approximately 155 to 150 million years ago. It actually lived around 150 to 145 million years ago. In what is now North America and Europe, fossils of Allosaurus have been discovered in various locations worldwide, but primarily in North America. North America. Yeah, this person did not check the spelling mistakes, and this is what happens including the United States, particularly in the states of Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming, as well as in European countries such as Portugal and Spain. Allosaurus is believed to have inhabited diverse environments, such as virgin forests, open grasslands, and hilly regions. They may have also lived near rivers or swampy areas, where the environment was rich and food sources were abundant, primarily residing in forests. Carnotaurus is known for its ability to coordinate with its. And another trend with this AI generated video is that this person just does not how does not know how to uh, separate sentences and whatnot. You know, like getting an awkward silence after when it's not even the end of the sentence. Teammates. So it will be awarded one point. The current score is now five to three. So let's recap the strengths and weaknesses. Carnotaurus weaknesses, smaller body size, less intelligence, Carnotaurus strengths, faster running, stronger bite force. As for Allosaurus, Allosaurus weaknesses, weaker bite, slower running, Allosaurus strengths, intelligence, larger and more robust physique. This is what secures Allosaurus the win. It'd probably be a more difficult fight, but the Allosaurus would still come out on top most of the time. And stronger forelimbs, Carnotaurus with its compact body and short head, appears ready with its swift hunting tactics, with its robust muscles and agile appearance. It seems poised for an attack. The score now stands at 5 to 4. The tail of Carnotaurus is relatively short, Compared to some other dinosaur species, it is typically about one quarter to one third the length of its body, based on estimates and analysis by scientists. When there is a section where this person does not use AI, okay, so this person actually 
bother to do something, even though it doesn't look pleasing, you know. Mines don't either, but uh, yeah, this this is okay for a channel with this low amount of budget. The tail of Carnotaurus is estimated to be about 1.5 to 2 meters long. As for Allosaurus, its tail can be described as long and flexible. It is used for balancing during movement, assisting in maintaining equilibrium, and enhancing strength in activities such as running and hunting. Not gonna lie, this kind of looks like a hybrid between this uh, T-Rex, the, there, there's something else, and then there's Titan from Megamind. The tail of Allosaurus can reach lengths of about 3 to 4 meters, relatively long compared to its body, aiding in maintaining stability and flexibility in its living environment and during locomotion. Meanwhile, Allosaurus stands tall and confident. With sharp teeth and powerful forelimbs, its eyes gleam in the sunlight, creating a fearsome and determined appearance. The two dinosaurs engage in attack and counterattack. The most realistic scenario is that they both leave immediately. Facing each other in a fierce and relentless battle, their roars shake the earth. Their roars shake the earth. Is this some sort of generic AI writing? And the sight of bloodstains on their dinosaur hides is evidence of this intense and uncompromising conflict. In a fight for survival, there can only be one winner. And the victorious roar echoes through the sky. He battle between Carnotaurus and Allosaurus reaches its climax. With both dinosaurs exhausted and wounded from relentless attacks and counterattacks. This is in the most extreme case scenario that both of them are starving. The bloodstains on their bodies are a testament to their strength and relentless determination. As tension reaches its peak, one final attack is executed. Despite its fatigue, Carnotaurus uses its speed and agility to evade and strike Allosaurus with ultimate determination. Carnotaurus, the monstrous creature with its formidable and sinister appearance. Monsters creature with a sinister appearance. This is literally the worst way to describe, yeah, no. Stood upon the carcass of its adversary with the pride of a king. The wounds upon its body bore witness to the brutal struggle, yet also served as badges of honor for a hard-fought victory. Its visage was an icon of strength, and savagery in the prehistoric world, where only the strongest could endure. The battle between Carnotaurus and Allosaurus had concluded. This is how biology works. Survival of the fittest. Yet the saga of the clash between these two behemoths would echo through generations to come. Both were formidable and ruthless adversaries, and in this contest, Carnotaurus had proven itself as the apex predator. Well, the apex predator, there's going to be multiple apex predators, alright? In the world of dinosaurs, he above is my own opinion. Because they did not live at the same time, so it is difficult to know exactly. If there is any mistake, I hope you will sympathize. There's just way too many of them, and from the... From this video's perspective, I don't think it is satire. I'm sorry, but there's just way too many mistakes in this video. Please leave your opinions in the comments section. Thank you for watching all our videos. If you like, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you again in the next video. There really is nothing to say about this video other than this being completely AI generated, and much of AI also could get wrong. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all next time. <laughs>